Hi guys, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new, welcome. So in this short tutorial, I want to show you how to create this thank you card. So the first thing we're going to do is to set up background. So you want to go under file and you want to choose new and we want to go under the custom, but we want to set our width to 5.5. Make sure that you have inches on and the height is going to be four. You want to make sure your background is white. Go ahead and click on create. So the first thing we're going to do is to bring in our brush stroke. Now these files are made available. So look in the description below to download so you can follow along. So I'm going to drag and drop this in and I'm going to go ahead to zoom out and I'm going to go ahead to scale it. So we're going to pick our font tool and we want to use the Vitia Mero script and I'm going to go ahead to type in thank you. So I'm going to go ahead to highlight and we want to make sure we choose the right font and we are going to go ahead to scale it. So pick up your move tool and go ahead and scale it to the size that you want. Now you can go ahead and even rotate it a little. We're going to set it somewhere here. Double click to accept. Now to add a drop shadow, double click on your font layer. It will bring up the layer style, add a drop shadow, go into your drop shadow. We're going to set the size to zero and we are going to reduce our distance. Go ahead and click. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop this in. And I'm going to go ahead and set it somewhere here. I'm going to go ahead and set it somewhere here. Now we are going to pick our font tool, flip your foreground and background to the default black. We are going to go ahead and choose the century Gothic and we are going to go ahead to type in. So once you have that, you want to move that and set that in the position that you want. So with this set, we want to go ahead and add in the rest of the information as the company name. So this is more of a template. So if you are not creating a template, you can go ahead and just add your own information. So I'm going to pick the Amalfi call and I'm just going to use that script to type in the company name. And we are going to change that to black. And with our move tool, we can close up the spacing with the V over V A and we can move it and scale it down, set it somewhere here. You can go ahead and type in your website as well as your email address. I'm going to drag and drop this in and I'm going to move that and set that. I'm going to move that and set that right below just like that. Add in the social media handle. Go ahead and set that above. So with this, with this information, you can go ahead and set that on the bottom of your sheet. You can go ahead and highlight some portions and also make those uh, bold. And I'm just going to leave a space in between. So if you want to duplicate this design, but use a different background, all you need to do is select the whole layers, hold down shift and select the top and group it. And we can name this blue and we want to make a copy. So select your layer and hold down command J to make a copy. Now we can call this black. We can rename this black. I want to go ahead and lock my logo as well as the thank you because those I want to leave as is. Now, if I want to change everything else to black background and white text, all we need to do is click on the click on all the text in black. And it means that you have to make sure you arrange them so that they are all together. And we are going to go ahead, select everything and group those. So with everything group, we can go ahead and rename this to say text. And you want to go ahead and add a hue adjustment. So go to your hue adjustment and add a hue adjustment at the top. You want to clip it. So hold down options and clip that only to the text that have been grouped. We want to click on our background layer, 
go to adjustment and we are going to add a solid color now you want to go ahead and choose the black and go ahead and click okay now we are going to go ahead and turn off the brush stroke now to be able to see your font all you need to do you don't have to manually highlight every font to change it but because we've added the hue and saturation to all the text all we need to do is click on the hue and saturation and change all the black to white so this is very easy to do if we want to change up the color we can click on our thank you as well as our logo and we can group that as well and we can go ahead and add an adjustment level and hold down options to clip it to just that now if we go ahead and go to our um, options we can change the color to whatever we want so guys i hope that this was helpful please give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in the next tutorial bye y'all